On April 10th, Turkey commissioned its largest warship in a much-anticipated inauguration ceremony. The TCG Anadolu, billed as the world's first unmanned combat aerial vehicle carrier, was spotted with a prototype of the latest Bayraktar TB3 on its deck. According to Turkish media Daily Sabah, the ship will be Turkey's first aircraft carrier and the first ship in the world with an air wing made primarily of unmanned aircraft. Three months before the official inauguration ceremony, the ship was delivered to the Turkish Navy. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan emphasized that the vessel would house many Turkish manned and unmanned aerial vehicles, saying, the TCG Anadolu is the world's first warship in its field where UAVs can land and take off. The prototype of Turkey's most recent UAV from the Bayraktar family, the latest Bayraktar TB3, was lifted off the carrier's flight deck on the day of the inauguration. The startling maneuver was captured on video and posted online. The Bayraktar TB3 is scheduled to launch from this deck in 2024. This news comes just weeks after Baykar Technology CTO, Selçuk Bayraktar, shared images of the Bayraktar TB3 on the assembly line. According to reports, the TB3 will fly alongside the Bayraktar Kizilelma, a carrier-capable unmanned fighter jet that is expected to enter service in 2025. The modern TB3 is the most recent iteration of Turkish company Baykar's powerful TB range of assault drones, following the legendary Bayraktar TB2 combat drone. The TB3, on the other hand, is thought to have superior capabilities than its predecessor Bayraktar TB2 and would be used for exports as well as domestic deployment in the seas. The TB3 is a foldable wing naval drone designed for ship decks and short runways. Officials have stated that the TB3 must still be thoroughly tested, primarily to determine how well it performs in naval warfare. The unmanned combat aerial vehicle Bayraktar TB3 is an armed aerial vehicle system that can take off and land on aircraft carriers with limited runways. The TB3 UCAV smart weaponry mounted beneath its wings enables it to perform intelligence, reconnaissance, and surveillance tasks in addition to attack operations. Furthermore, the Bayraktar TB3's communications capabilities, both line of sight and beyond line of sight, allow it to be operated from very remote locations. Although the Anadolu is classified as an amphibious assault ship, Turkish officials claim that the ship will be used as a carrier for various classes of armed drones. Since its initial order in 2015, Anadolu has evolved into a distinct multifunctional ship capable of focusing on unmanned aircraft operations. This would essentially serve as a light aircraft carrier for combat drones, going beyond the limitations of conventional manned rotary wing aircraft. TCG Anadolu is the world's first drone carrier. The TCG Anadolu is a landing helicopter dock-type amphibious assault ship based on Spain's flagship, the Juan Carlos I. It is 32 meters wide and 231 meters long, with a displacement of 27. 436 tons. It has a range of 9,000 nautical miles, a top speed of about 21 knots, and can operate at sea for 50 days. The TCG Anadolu was originally intended to transport a fleet of helicopters and short takeoff and vertical landing fighters, including the F-35B. Any chance of this happening has been diminished since the United States dropped Turkey from the global F-35 fighter jet development program in response to Ankara's decision to purchase Russia's S-400 air missile defense systems in 2019. Turkey intended to purchase at least 100 F-35 fighters. This compelled the country to reconsider its development strategy and make additional changes to transform the TCG Anadolu into a carrier of unmanned aerial vehicles. Unmanned combat aerial vehicles and uncrewed fighter jets in addition to helicopters. The ship's air wing will most likely be made up of Bayraktar TB-3S with short runway capability. 
Along with drones, the TCG Anadolu will house a variety of helicopters, including the T-129 attack, AH-1W Super Cobra attack helicopters, and SH-70B utility helicopters made in Turkey. It was announced in February of this year that the ship would undergo minor infrastructure upgrades to allow drone operations to realize the change in Anadolu's air wing. Drone control stations with satellite terminals for longer range connections were to be installed, as well as a roller system at the ship's bow to aid in uncrewed aircraft launch. An arresting gear system on the deck to facilitate UCAV landings and safety nets for the recovery of smaller drone types. The TCG Anadolu will be able to house a battalion-sized force, as well as flight and command personnel. The Anadolu has six landing and takeoff zones for medium-load transport, assault, or general-purpose helicopters, as well as two other zones for heavy cargo transport helicopters. Despite the fact that its flight deck is not long enough for classic warplanes to land and take off, it is capable of transporting both light and heavily armored vehicles, as well as tracked and wheeled vehicles. Its lightweight deck can accommodate up to 30 wheeled vehicles, such as armored personnel carriers and amphibious vehicles. The ship's hangar can transport at least 12 medium-load helicopters. Depending on the ship's function, more helicopters may be carried on the light vehicle deck at the same time to increase the number. Tanks and other large, tracked vehicles with heavy armor can be transported on the carrier's heavy vehicle deck, which is located at the top of the pool.